And today we are going to begin with uh, Professor Leandro Dominguez from the University of uh, Espiritu Santo in San Mateo. So just by chance, Leandro was a student of uh, Didier Pilot at a talk on Monday, and Didier was my student at IMP. So Leandro today is going to talk about sharp well postness results for a Schrodinger Benjamin Ono system. Go ahead. Okay, uh, thank you, Philippe. Good morning. Uh, first, I would like to thank the organizers, especially Diego Moreira and Ricardo Alonso, for the invitation. For me, it's an honor to present my work at Coloca Brasileiro de Matemática. And second, I am not a good English speaker, so I will commit a lot of mistakes. Uh, maybe I commit some of them already. <laughs> but uh, I think uh, you'll be able to understand my message, but I hope. But if some, anything is not clear, please stop me and ask. You're very welcome, OK? Well, uh, this work is part of my PhD thesis under the guidance of Professor DJ Pilot, as Philip said, from Federal University of Rio de Janeiro. And we study a nonlinear dispersive system, the Schrodinger Benjamin Ono system. Here we have a Schrodinger equation and a Benjamin Ono equation, which are coupled by these two nonlinearities. Alpha, beta, and nu are just const real constant. H denotes the Hilbert transform. And u is a complex valued function, and v is a real valued function. The system describes the motion of two fluids with, with different densities under capillary gravity waves. And one can find a deduction in a work from, for, of Funakoshi and Oikawa from 1983. Well, we have two cases for the system, OK? Uh, depend on this constant nu. If you look to this identity for the Hilbert transform by Fourier transform, one can see there is some sort of cancellation in the interaction of the frequency. I, 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 will, I will try to explain it better at the end of the talk, but for now, we, we have two cases for the system, the non-resonant case and the resonant case. The, ro the resonant case is when the new is one, the non-resonant case is one, when the absolute value for the new is different from one. Okay, so there is no cancellation in the interaction of the frequency. And the resonant case when the absolute value of new is equal one. For the non-resonant case, Becker and Avogal and Pons prove that the Cauchy problem for the system is local opposeness for initial that data with regularity, S and S prime, which satisfies S greater than or equal zero, S prime equals S minus one half. And for the resonant case, Pescher in 2006 proved the local opposeness for the system for the same irregularity except for the endpoint in this half line. Okay? So, these two results are the starting point for our work. Our proposal was to investigate what happened with the Cauchy problem for regularity outside this half line. Okay. The, this talk is organized as follows. First, I will give the main the meanings of local opposing and C2 opposing. I want to, to review these definitions to explain why our results are sharp, okay? Then we will try to show the motivation of Bikranovo, Gao, Ponce, and, and, and Pescher to investigate local poles only at this regularity. Next, we will show our results and compare them with preview results for other nonlinear nonlinear dispersive systems. And finally, 
I will give the main ingredients for the proofs of our results. Okay. Well, we say that the Cauchy problem for the system is locally in time well poseness in, at some regularity or, or generally we can say for some arbitrary space of initial data H when for every point in the space there is a neighborhood V of the point and a time interval usually the length of the ti this ti time interval depend on the norm of the initial data such that for every initial data in the neighborhood that is that exists a unique UV in, a, in some function space solving the associated integral equation for every t in the time interval. Okay? We must have a persistence that is the solution must describe a continuum curve from the time interval to the space of initial data. And since we have this time interval in the neighborhood is well defined the application data to solution which must be at least continuous. But when you obtain local opposants by the contraction mapping principle, this mapping is more than continuous, it's analytic, okay? So it's natural to say that the Cauchy problem for some, for at some regularity or for some space H is situ opposants when the application, when the map data to solution is not situ. As far as you know, the first, the first C2 Wilpozner's result was obtained by Nikolai Svetkov in 1999, improved the C3 Wilpozner result obtained by Burgan for the KDV equation. And I want to remark that Svetkov proved something slightly strong. He proved that for every T, non-zero t in the time interval, the flow map data to solution is not C2. And this, it, this, it is stronger because if this map is C2, then the flow map is C2, okay? Well, conserved quantities and scaling for the system. Uh, smooth solutions of the system enjoy the following conserved quantities. So one can see, especially by this conserved quantity, that uh, H-type uh, Sobolev space are, are natural to, to, to study local opposeness, and S prime equals S minus one half seems to be a, a nice choice because we have a difference of a half in, in a, 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 a diverse, in spatial diver, deriv, derivative and a a half derivative here, okay? But maybe actually that was not the motivation because there is a remark in, in, in their paper uh, justifying this is to the local opposner when S prime is equals S minus one half doing to scaling properties of the system, okay? Let's look, if you, if you, if you, you scale a solution for the system in this way, doesn't matter the, the computations. Then you have another solution, but for this initial data, okay, which satisfy this equality for the homogeneous Sobolev norms, okay? So, when S primes equal S minus one half, we have have here, we put one plus S. Okay, so it's, uh, we can, for instance, use, suppose, sm small data by scaling property at this regularity. And I want to make two remarks here, one, is that we have a critical point here when S equals 
minus 1, critical point is critical point in the sense that there is invariance of the norm for at this regularity. And until this work, there is no result at this critical point because the result was just for non-negative S. And the second remark is that despite this consideration, our result shows that this regime is not a necessary conjunction for local well posings result. Okay. Well, let's see our results. First, for the non-resonant case, this we have local well posing obtained by Pikeranov Gaupons at this regularity, the, this half line. We improve the local well posing result to this region of regularity. And we prove C2 will pose us in this region, okay? And in particular, we give an answer at the critical point. And in particular, we show that our result is sharp at low regularity because our result is the map is analytic. And in this region, it's not possible. And particular two, it's not possible to obtain local opposeness by the contraction mapping principle, which are the most used argument to dispersive equations. Okay? And also we prove C2 opposeness in this other region. Why different colors? Because for for the second we use the original uh, definition for C2 repulseness that the map that the solution is not C2 and for in this region we do like Svetkov and prove that the flow map is not C2 okay slightly stronger result there is a there is remaining regions here and we, we can say something from this region. The, the key point we'll see later for the, the, to obtain local opposeness here is to obtain estimates for the nonlinearities. And we prove in this region that one of them fails. Okay? So it's not a matter of refining the counts. The, the, with our method, it's not possible to obtain local opposeness in this region. And for the other nonlinearity, the, the estimate fail. For the last remaining region, we could prove the same in particular case when e is equals zero. Okay. For the resonant case, we have the pressure result, local opposeness at the same half line except for the end point. And we prove such opposeness for all the rest except for the end point. For the end point, we just proved that the bilinear estimate is, uh, it fails. So the pressure result is sharp except for the end point. Okay. Well, let's now compare our results for to results of other nonlinear dispersive system. Because the Novogon points also obtain local opposeness for the Sheridan KDV system and for the Benning system, Schrodinger equation with the transport equation. For the both system, also, uh, uh, for the both system, he proved a local opposeness for the same irregularity, the same half line. Okay. After that, some researchers improved this result. Okay. The first one I want to show is in this seminal article by Jeanne Bittsum Sumen Velo, they prove local opposite for the Zakharov system, shortening with the wave equation. And, and for the Benning system, two in, in a region like that. Okay? For the Schrodinger KDV system, Adam Kosh and Philippe Linares in 2007 improve the result obtained by Bikarana Vagal 
from the half line to this region. After that, Wu in 2010 improved the local opposeness to this region. And also prove C2 opposing result in this region. In particular, improve sharp result at low regularity. And I want to remark here that as far as you know, this is the best result nowadays for the Sheridan KDV system. And there is, there is this region without result. And for our, for, in our case, we have, we prove C2 poles in, in, in this region. And as far as you know, is the first real poles in this result for a nonlinear dispersive system. Well, let's look. Uh, this here, the, the C2 is slightly stronger, so it's covering here, but we actually obtain this situ, uh, C2 opposing in this region, okay? And despite this is the first result, uh, we think that it's reasonable to expect uh, opposing in a region like that because if you, want, if you want local opposeness, you ask some regularity for the map data to solution. And this map has the two coordinates, the solution UV, which are in this space, and the regularity of the map consider the topology of this space. What happened in this region? We are in regions when, where the difference between the regularities is large enough. So high, high, if we have high, uh, high regularity compared to low regularity V, we expect that to, we break the regularity of this map, okay? Let's now pass to the main ingredients for the proof of our, our results. We construct the solution using the Fourier restriction norm method by, introduced by John Burgan. So the solution are construction in the Burgan space. Here we have the norm for the Burgan space associated with the Schrodinger equation. And here we have the norm for the Burgan space associated with the Benjamin equation. Noting that the Fourier transform is in space-time variable and the symbol is like HS sub F norm, okay? So this symbol is related to the regularity asked for the spatial operator of spatial derivative, derivative, sorry. And this symbol is related to the regularity asked for this operator, which is the operator for the linear Schrodinger equation. And this symbol is related to the, so B prime is related with the regularity asked for the operator for the linear Benjamin equation, okay? In some sense, this weight measure the distance for, of the solution from the linear solution, okay? Okay. Uh, Burgans, we have this linear estimates for the, the, in the Burgan space, and we are interested in, interested in local solutions, so which are solution of the associated integral equations, but we have local, we, we introduce here a cutoff function, okay, and we have this estimate for which will help in the in the contraction argument. The first estimate assures the, the persistence, the, the solution will describe a continuous curve. The, the second estimate controls these terms. And the last estimate controls this term, and for small t, we can obtain a, con, a contraction. But we still have to obtain estimate for the nonlinearity in our case, this, the true nonlinearity. Okay? 
So all the difficulties to extend the bilinear estimates obtained by the Kanavagawa points, which they prove only for this, this regularity, we extend it them to, to this, we'll see the regions in the next frame, okay? So the strategy is the couple, this, the regularity here, and for, for the spatial and the modulation B, we replace S minus a half for S prime and, 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 and the, the couple by B prime and refine the counts, counts here, okay? So we can, we could extend the, the, the bilinear estimate from the half line to this region and for the second uh, nonlinearity, we extend the bilinear estimate from the half line to this region, but for the contraction argument, we need the, the, the two estimates, so we have local opposing in the intersection of the, the, the two regions, okay? Well, I, I want to give some, some the main ingredients, the, some details. Um, sometimes it's not a good idea to give more, much details, but I want to, to give some details here because for, for three reasons. One is very simple and elementary. It will cost less than a minute, and we will, we will reach the central point in the analysis for the Fourier restriction norm method, which are the, the resonance relation, the algebraic relation, okay? So I'm saying that uh, the first bilinear estimate for the, the nonlinearity is equivalent to, to this estimate. It seems to be, to be hard, but it's not, it's just a, a, a little trick if you're remembering that the norm for Brogan space is based on the L2 norm here, okay? If we denote This, the norm, the Burgan norm, is just a L2 norm of some function f, and we can express the Fourier transform of u in function of f and the weights. Sorry. Okay. So what are we doing here? We pass all the analysis to the left hand side accumulate all the trouble here, okay? And uh, uh, that is uh, the, after Fourier transform, this operator becomes this term, and product becomes convolution, so we have this integral, okay? In a similar way for the other estimate, the, the estimate is equivalent to something like that. And the second and last step in my technical details is we can get rid of f and g and the integral and the fg here using Cauchy-Schwarz Fubin theorem, Cauchy-Schwarz inequality and change of variables. So we have this if we, we can prove that something is bounded, okay? In our case for the, so the estimate follows from proof that this is bound. And what we have a key here, the symbols. Okay. And this is the core of analysis, this, the algebraic correlation after convolution for the symbols, okay? And, well, hereafter is very technical with a lot of counts, I'll stop here, but just for say, we split the four-dimensional Euclidean space in regions, analyzing each region, 
and go on. In a, in a similar way for the other estimate, we, we work in the same way. Okay, that it, for other bilinear estimates, we have a slightly different algebraic relation. Okay. I have 15 minutes. Yeah. Great. Uh, let's pass now for our the main ingredients for the C2 will pose the result. So we will follow here the, the stra Svetkov stra strategy. Suppose that you, we, we have a low local opposeness for the, the Cauchy problem for the system at some irregularity. So, and suppose also for some fixed T, the flow map that the solution is C2 at zero, okay? If we have that, then the second fresh derivative of the flow map is, by definition, a bound by linear application. So we have this inequality for the Gateau derivative of the, 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 the flow map for every direction, okay? <laughs> but the flow map have two coordinates. We, have, we are in a system. So we have two inequalities, okay? So it's simple. Uh, assuming C2 well poseness, assume that the flow map is C2, we have these two inequalities, and this, we have to prove that it's, it fails, okay? For some regularity, we use one of them. For other regularities, we use the other one. Let's pick up the, this one to, to illustrate how is the procedure. But uh, U is a solution, so we, we can use a, 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 the integral equation to compute this Gato derivative, and is that. And here uh, we, we use that tri this trick again, but it's more simple because we HS, not more the, the Bruegel norm, but HS Sobolev norm, and we pass the trouble to the left-hand side. So this inequality is equivalent to this inequality, okay? Where the trouble is accumulating here with in, in symbols, and we have actually is this, and up here again, the algebraic relation, the resonance expression for the, the, the bilinear estimate, okay? So, let's look closer to, in, in this case, né? so we, the, to prove C2 will pose this, we have, we must prove that this inequality fails, and we must construct a sequence of functions f and g such that this increases faster than this, okay? But what we do, we, we construct a characteristic function localizing the frequency in a convenient way to, to, to this left-hand sign increase. But we have here, uh, we must construct and look into this, to, to this, this term, and, 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 and thinking that we are, S and S prime are in this region. But we have an oscillatory term here, and all will ruin if, ruin if you don't control this. And, and this vanish infinitely many times if this term is, is increasing too. So you, you have to bound this in the counterexamples too, okay? Well, I, I, I will not give the details in the construction of the counterexample for this region, but uh, I will only tell you that it's possible, okay? And I want to, for our new region, I want to give some details. And, and explain what is the difference, because here we prove C2 repulsion in the Svetkov way, and, he, and here in the 
original definition of situ poses. Okay? What's the difference? Here, uh, we, we could bound the resonance expression for every fixed t, okay? Because uh, it's possible, and 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 to do this, we we construction psi one uh, increasing. Uh, actually, all all the frequencies high, high, high to high. Remember that this psi two is just for the convolution translation in the convolution. So we have here psi equals psi one plus psi two. Okay, and. We have high, high frequency and high frequency, so we can see us out here, and we are in this region, so this is, is red, it's increasing. And we, it's possible to construct in such a way that this is bound, and okay, it will work. Okay. But for the difficult in this new region is that to obtain this increasing faster than this, we are in this regularity. And what happened here? The difference between S minus S prime is large enough. So we need high frequency, high frequency in the same order of increasing, and we, we need this, this frequency low, okay? But if we have high, low, this is high, of course, and it's impossible to bound this because we are on the, we are at the non-resonant case. We can't control this. So, so what can we do? We use this, the time, okay? So we can define for integer, positive integer n f psi two um, low frequency. Characteristic function of an interval and localize the frequency psi one in an incre increasing interval okay so in this case what we have we have Psi two is the, the symbol is is low. Psi one is order of n s psi. Okay, so here is red. Okay, is red red, and is we cannot control this. If, if it's bound, it's easy, I, I forget to say. Um, because we have a lower bound, it's very simple. The, the, it's greater than the real part. And it, we have, we keep it away from zero for, okay? But in our case, this is increasing too, in, in the frequency we need. So, what can we do? We can move the time to zero. In the same order of increasing that, of this, so we, we choose, we, we construct a sequence of time in order of n minus two, because we have increasing like n square. And so this is bound. But now we are not proving that the flow map for a fixity is not by, uh, by bounded by linear application. We are proving that this is a constant like that does not exist. But it is right to is exactly to say that the instead of the flow map data to solution is not C2, is say that the map data to solution is not so true. Okay? Well, um, five minutes, yeah? 
so let I am finishing. Uh, let show again this this figure which summarizes the results: local opposeness here, situ opposeness, situ opposeness, bilinear application fails for the resonant case, non-resonant case. The for the resonant case, we prove that pressure results are sharp except for the endpoint. Here we have the main reference for our work. And that's what I want to talk today. Thank you very much.